everyone, this is Sophia Answer. Welcome to my channel, The Simple Science. Now let's get to our topic again. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. But now we are going to study about the derivation, how to derive, okay, how to derive the Newton's Law of Gravitation. So according to Newton's Law, we made a mathematical format. Force, according to Newton's Law, every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force F, which is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance from their center. Okay, now this we got the mathematical, mathematical format, but here the problem is of the proportional. We have to remove the proportional sign. Now how to remove the proportional sign? Okay, so the proportional sign is being removed and is replaced by is equal to. So in physics, okay, whenever you remove the proportionality sign and replace it is equal to, you have to replace, you have to put one more proportionality. So here we are replacing the capital G. Now why capital G? Because we are studying the concept of gravitation. So I have put it over here capital G. So what it becomes instead of this proportional, we have put is equal to a capital G. Capital G means gravity for gravitation. Isn't it? No. And the rest of the concept will be the same. M1 into M2 by R square. But what is this G? This G means, okay, this G means universal law of gravitation. Okay, or universal constant. What does this G means? This G means universal constant. Okay, this G will be constant for the whole universe. Okay, G will be universal constant. Now, what will be the value of G? So, the value of G becomes, now interchange the value of G becomes G is equal to F into R square divided by M1 into M2. Okay children, so this is you got the derivation for universal law of gravitation or that is gravitational constant. Here if you find, if here the experimentally the value of G is known as 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11. Okay, you can calculate the value of G. The value of G is always it will be same throughout the universe and this value will be 6.67 to 10 raised to minus 11. Means the force between the two objects, if I am standing, okay, beside me both is there, so both and myself both are attracting to each other, okay, by a force, that force is known as universal uh, gravitational force and the force between both and me is 6.67 to 10 raised to minus 11 and its SI unit is Newton meter square per kg square. Okay, Newton meter square per kg square. Now see children, according to Newton's law, the force is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance. This means that if masses are double, so force will also become double. But if distance is double, so force will reduce by the factor 4. Force will reduce by a factor 4. Hope you people would have understood. Okay, if you have any doubt, mention in the comment section. Thank you.